it's Saturday the 16th and it is my 22nd anniversary so that's pretty awesome and we are uh, I'm just gonna make a short video uh, Angie and I are over in Avon we just we debated last night or yesterday afternoon rather um, were we gonna get a hotel or not because just so many expenses coming up with uh, everything going on, but uh, we found an okay deal, and we uh, just thought it'd be nice, <sighs> just a very <clears throat> slight reprieve in the midst of all this, and coming home for our last week's trip was half, half over, um, and then before a bunch of other stuff has to happen this week, so. My mom took us out to Oasis Diner. Um, Clay couldn't make it. He just had a lot going on, which he's already been over a couple times this week. So that's been fun. But uh, he had stuff going on, working on stuff. and um, But my mom wanted to take us all out for an anniversary present. And uh, so it was she, me and Angie. Caleb, Lydia, and Charity, and uh, it was nice, and <clears throat> just had a really nice meal, and hung out, and talked a little bit, and uh, the waitress uh, there actually, um, I, I guess had just heard that Nathaniel passed away, she didn't really, I don't think she, I don't know if she ever met him or not, but, because she might be newer than when he was really going there much with me. But anyway, she, you know, was genuine, gave us the genuine condolences and all that kind of stuff. But, um, oh, one thing I forgot to say yesterday, and this was just, <laughs> it was just like an unexpected thing, but yesterday morning when me and Angie were lying in bed talking and stuff, um, before we got out, she was, uh, saying something that, you know, she was talking about her memories and stuff like that, and then I just wanted to cheer up and all that, and I hadn't done this in forever, it's something that I used to do, uh, just to be a goof, but I hadn't done in a little while, um, while she was talking, I just started inching my way down and pulling the blankets back, and <laughs> I just pulled her uh, tank top up and just started making fart raspberry sounds on her stomach and ribs and she was just really cracking up and uh you know smiling really deep and that was really funny and i was like oh i have to get the perfect sound you know you have to get the perfect like <laughs> sound so i kept like moving here and moving an inch <clears throat> adjusting you know until i got the right tummy fart sound but uh yeah that was just being unexpected goofy and it really made her laugh i think the hardest that i'd seen since uh nathaniel's died and uh so that was that was good but anyway so we're staying over here and uh, gonna have a good raucous night bang it out and uh, and have some have some good fun watch some funny shows and we already got our takeout Chinese food, so we're set. We're set for the night. And, oh, and then one thing that we hadn't previously considered, but just kind of came up as an idea between Angie and I, as, as we were over here running around, is we planned to, f and still may do that, fly out to Las Vegas area to do what we need to do out west. And, of course, the least that would be me, Angie, and the three kids. Uh, Clay might go or not. I don't know. Of course, he has, you know, demands and stuff from work. But, um, of course, we'd love for him to go if we could. But anyway, all of a sudden, the idea of potentially driving out popped into my head. And I ran it past Angie. Because um, what we thought is if, if we go out, if we fly out, 
say day one. We don't want to be in like a big hurry while we're out there. So if we flew out day one, we could probably coordinate all the things we needed to do between, of course, who knows what time we're going to get out there day one. It could be night, you know, so if we got out there at seven in the morning versus seven at night, that really changes the dynamic. But, um, but we figured we'd fly out day one, come back day four, um, and then have, you know, two days to do stuff and all that, but, you know, thinking about driving out, I mean, you know, you can do that in two days, uh, of course, depending on which way you go, but that would just be, it probably wouldn't be much more expensive, well, it would definitely be cheaper to rent a vehicle, so we didn't have to worry about our vehicle or anything, to rent a vehicle um, but of course, then you have gas too. So it's like, um, I would say it would probably not be a hell of a lot different between everyone's, uh, depending on what they end up being, what everyone's tickets would be to get out there and back versus renting a car plus gas. Um, but, you know, making that maybe, I mean, definitely a six day trip, maybe a seven day trip. I mean, that would just be an epic family time under horrible circumstances, but the horrible circumstances already exist. That can't change. But, you know, and then potentially go out one, one way and come back a slightly different way. And then also thinking about we could come back through the canyon because, you know, Nathaniel loved the canyon. Um, and potentially scatter some of his ashes in the canyon. And another thing is we could go out through Utah, so then maybe Caleb could show us um, where they worked last season together, you know, because we were going to fly out there. And then with the COVID thing, they shut down early, and then they, the boys ended up coming home before we, Angie and I at least, maybe the girls too, were going to fly out there. So, uh, I mean... I know that that would just be something that we would just forever remember a road trip like that. And we've never as a family taken a road trip that distance uh, together. I mean, we've gone several states over and stuff like that, but anyway. Um, there were a couple times today when the feel started to to get me one time I was listening to music before we went to lunch right before we went to lunch and Angie was walking through and I was listening to music in the living room and it kind of like just started to hit me and then Angie was coming through the living room and I was just I just wanted to you know this is our anniversary obviously we are sad but out of all the days before and after this a week before a week after I mean this is the day that you know we want to be as happy as we can under the circumstances and love one another and celebrate 22 years of being together and the children that we made. Oh, and I did this little uh, picture earlier and posted it, and then Angie posted one too. Um, where is it? Um, yeah, this one. Um, let's see if I can hold that up there. Man, that's not doing very good. Mm, anyway, it's, uh, man, it's not doing us any justice. But, I don't think. Uh, maybe? Maybe not? There we go. There we go. Um, there's the kids. The four kids all having uh, an ice cream treat together. And then, um, and then me and Angie, where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? When we were engaged before we got married, and then us just recently. I'm not getting a dizzy one there. I just, I'm glad I got the kids to show up on that one. Oh, anyway, and like when I looked at Nathaniel in this picture, that was what was hitting me earlier while I was listening to music, is just. 
had these sandals on, you remember like his little feet, you know, it's like. And he always tan faster and darker than the other kids. Which Charity kind of does too. But uh, she looks like a little goober there. But anyway, you know, just like, I remember putting Nathaniel's little feet in his socks, you know, and just holding them on my lap and stuff. But anyway, I can't think about that stuff. <sighs> Until tomorrow, until tomorrow, we're going to have a, an amazing night together.